Hello, good morning, boys and girls. Um, we continue our lesson. All right, this Monday morning. I hope everybody is okay. Everybody is fine. So, um, yeah, let's let's continue. Um, our lesson still in unit fourteen. So, if you have your textbook with you. Okay, you can open page 123. Okay, page 123, 123. So, today is a writing lesson. Okay, we're still doing writing. And I will teach you writing. Okay. So, at the end of the lesson, okay, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to I want you write three paragraphs of sentences correctly. Okay. So after this, what we will do is we will write. Uh, I will teach you how to write a paragraph of sentences. And after we finish all of this, I want you write three paragraphs. Okay. Three paragraphs of sentences. Okay. Now, if you open your textbook page 123 okay this is the page okay this is what we're going to write now um, before we write uh, last week what we did was I asked you to write the story or the paragraphs about rent up okay about rent up now who uh, was rent up who who was rent up okay who he was rent up was a fighter okay uh, from Sarawak he fights for um, Sarawak people okay back a long time ago so we already did okay the story about him and today we will write three paragraphs about three persons okay who had done a good things for our country Malaysia okay so uh, yeah let's let's start about it who who are we going to write about okay three persons who are they they are Datu Mat Saleh Tan Sri Dr B C Sekhar and also Chung Keng Kui okay these three persons we're going to write about them so that's why we have three paragraph so one person one paragraph so three persons three paragraphs okay all right let's start <clears throat> let's start what we're going to write about Emily wants to write about a few good citizens she looks for information in the library and makes some notes on three people read her notes below okay for the first one let's see the for the first one here datu ma datu mat saleh okay what he was okay what he was he was a brave warrior okay warrior okay warrior in another word is fighter okay a brave warrior now why he was a brave warrior what he did okay what he did that he gained uh, as a brave warrior okay first against British they made people pay heavy taxes to them okay so Datu Masale fight against the British why he fights against the British because the British made the people pay heavy taxes it, uh, the British at that time they asked the people okay to pay some money to them and it's it's a lot of money okay so heavy taxes now fought British six years so he had fought the British for about six years okay so that's that's that was long time okay long period of time and died January 1 
1900 January 1900 he died on January 1900 so it's about 120 years ago ah uh, 120 years ago right so next one tan sri dr b c sekhar who what he was he was a research scientist okay research scientist okay i'm sure you know the word scientist okay right okay what he did what he did modernize rubber industry malaysia um uh, i want you google yourself okay look in the dictionary what is the word modernize modernize come from the word modern okay modern so modernize the word come from modern m o d e r n okay rubber industry okay rubber industry malaysia okay uh rubber uh an example of rubber is like tire uh what else uh what else you can see uh, what what else the example of rubber Uh, the one that I can think is like tire, you know, your car tire, um, anything like that. But 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 uh, there are a lot um, example of rubber. The one that I can think is right now is rubber. Uh, sorry, tire. Okay, fort. Okay, fort. It comes from the word fight. Okay, so fort is the past tense for fight. Rights. Plantation workers, rights. I want you look inside your dictionary. What is the rights? Plantation worker. Okay, plantation workers um, are the people who work in a plantation. You know, in Malaysia we have uh, a rubber plantation. We have uh, oil palm plantation. Right? It's like a. Uh, it's not a farm, but is a uh, uh, an area which has a lot of trees okay a lot of trees uh if if it's a rubber plantation you have rubber trees okay if if uh is is oil palm plantation you have oil palm right make sure they receive monthly salary okay monthly salary so tan sri dr b c sekar make sure that all the rubber plantation workers they receive monthly salary so they get the money lah all right and the last one chung keng chi uh, i don't know how to pronounce uh, this name okay what he was he was philanthropist philanthropist now search the word philanthropist in your dictionary okay because i cannot explain this word in chinese Right, so you look up yourself this word, philanthropist. What is philanthropist in Chinese? Okay, so what he did, he gave scholarship many poor students. So in short, or in another word, I can say he give, he gave uh, his money to the poor students. Okay, ah, uh, people who wants to learn, we call it students. There are people who wants to learn because they got no money, and then what Chung Kang Kui did, he gave the money to the poor students so that these poor students they were able to study. Okay, built many schools. Ah, uh, so what he did, he built many school. Where where were the schools in Penang? So uh, another one donated gift. Uh, give what donated what? Maybe he donated some of his money to temples. Okay. Ah, uh, if you if you don't know the word temples, Google it. All right. Where were the temples? Where are the temples in Penang and Perak? Okay, in this area. All right. Let's go to the first one. Okay, Datu Masale. So on here. Okay, this is the example of. The sentences that you need to write. Okay, here they already give, so we just um, follow um, 
this one to write like this one okay so use the information above to complete what Emily writes about Datu Mat Saleh okay write in cursive uh, this one no need lah okay write in cursive you no need to write in cursive so um, wait down um. okay let's read first let's read first Datu Mat Saleh was a brave warrior okay Datu Mat Saleh a brave warrior so we just take from here Okay, take from here. Datu Mat Saleh, okay, what he was, he was a brave warrior. Okay, then, he was against the British. You see, he was against the British. Now, why they, uh, why he, he against the British? Because they made his people pay heavy taxes. They made his people pay heavy taxes to them. Okay, he, what, he, what. So we start from he, we will write this one, and this he, we will write from this one. Okay, now if you're ready, let's write. So he fought British six years. How to write that? So at first, you write he fought. Sorry, fought. Okay, he fought who? He fought the British. Okay, he fought the British. Okay, how long? How long did he fought the British? Six years. So, he fought the British for six years. Done. Finish already this sentence. One sentence. And then, he what? The last one. So, he died. Uh, remember January 1900 now we want to use in or on uh, remember if we use for month first we use on okay he died on January uh, wait, wait, wait 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 let me check for that He died on January 1900. Done. Finish. Okay, so how you want to write the sentence is like this one. So we, 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 we I, I'll show you one more time. Datu Mat Saleh was a brave, we copy back, huh? warrior. He was against the British because they made his people pay heavy taxes. He fought. He fought the British for six years. He died on January 1900. Okay. Now, one more time. Why we use on? Because of the month. You if month, we use on. If let's say no month. Uh, let's say he died 1900. This one we cannot use on we use in okay he died in 1900 but right now because they write the month the year okay so we have to write on january 1900 okay uh, is that clear right i hope it's okay then we can continue all right F next one let's continue next one okay let's write about Tan Sri Dr. B.C. Sekhar right same we use like this one okay to write about Tan Sri Dr. B.C. Sekhar okay so first write his name first okay write his name first Tan Sri Dr. B. C. 
dot seha tan sri doctor bc seha was okay who he was who tan sri doctor seha was he was a research scientist okay stop there then go to the first one this is first sentence okay okay he okay take the word modernize he modernized okay he modernized what he modernized the rubber industry okay where 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 was the rubber industry in malaysia Okay, uh, finish first sentence. Let's go to the second sentence. Fort Wright's plantation workers. Okay, so again, use the word he. He fought. He fought what? The rights. The rights of what? The rights of the plantation workers. Uh, finish there. And, okay. The last one, he, he what? He made, sorry, he made sure they received, they received what? The monthly salary. That's it. Okay, actually this is very easy. So you just one line here, one sentence, okay? one line here one sentence okay it's very easy work right so your work your work what i want you to do is you have to write all these three people okay datu masale tan sri dr bc sehar and chung ken kui now for datu masale and tan sri dr bc sehar I already wrote them, wrote about them. Yeah, you can copy. Okay, you can copy this one. Okay, and this one. Right? Uh, and then, your work is, you write yourself this one. This one, you have to write yourself. <coughs> Alright, this one, you write yourself. Same, just use like this one. Write the name, who he was, what he do, he, what, he, what, he, what. Okay, for, for, uh, Chung Keng Chui. Okay, uh, alright, so, uh, right now, what you need to do, you pause this video. Pause, and then you copy this one. Okay. Uh, after you finish, copy this one. Kong Yi Hang. Skip one line. You copy Tan Sri Dr. B. C. Sehar. Okay, you copy this one. Pause the video. Write. And after that, skip one line. Kong Yi Hang. You write about Chung Keng Chui. Okay, now that is your work for today. You can write in your exercise 1 or exercise 2. Don't have this both book. If you don't have this both book, don't have exercise 1, you don't have exercise 2, just use any paper. Now once you finish, okay, you finish the uh, this work, I want you snap a picture, take a picture and give it to me in the Google Classroom. Okay? Alright? Uh, if you have any problem, let's say, Mr. Ikwan, can you help me to uh, write this one? I cannot understand. Alright? You just write in the comment. I'll try my best to help you to write. Okay? If you have any problem to do the work, you just write in the comment. And then I will try to help you. Okay. Now, uh, I think that's all for today, boys and girls. I will see you uh, this Wednesday. Alright. Make sure to do this work. 
uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, uh, take care. Don't forget to take care of yourself. All right, uh, and bye bye.